I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Bernie Sanders is calling for a fundamental transformation of the Democratic Party. Yes, a fundamental transformation that ensures he'll be the Democratic candidate in November. In addition to the Washington Post, other news organizations banned from Donald Trump press conferences include BuzzFeed, Politico, Univision, the Des Moines Register, and the Huffington Post. Trump is, however, completely cool with Mad Magazine being there. A new Bloomberg politics poll shows Hillary Clinton 12 points ahead of Donald Trump nationally. Obviously, the problem here is that Donald has not come up with an effective enough nickname for Hillary yet. Remember in 1980 when everybody was so concerned that Ronald Reagan was too old to be considered for the presidency at the age of 69? Donald Trump turned 70 on Tuesday. Hillary Clinton will be 69 at the time of the election. And I think we'd still be better off with Ronald Reagan, even in his current condition. Six airlines have now received their official license, allowing them to fly passengers to Cuba. Now all they need is their official license to lose luggage. A very helpful feature is coming to iOS 10, the new version of the iPhone's operating system. The phone will automatically remember where you parked your car and show the car's location on Apple Maps. This is pretty cool. Now if they can only add a feature where it can tell me where I left my keys. New York City is moving forward with a $2 million program to control the overpopulation of deer on Staten Island with vasectomies. Because that's so much easier than just issuing hunting licenses. Police believed a man had barricaded himself in his Michigan home Saturday morning, shutting down a neighborhood. Tear gas canisters were fired into the home and a robot was used to try and find the man inside. After 11 hours, authorities entered the home and found it empty. Yep, police had a standoff with an empty house and lost. Among the unusual items now available in Japanese vending machines, sushi. Man, that has got to be one sweet smelling break room at work, huh? Last year, Joan Lechleitner bought a winning ticket in a Pennsylvania lottery worth more than a million dollars. Now she's being accused of purchasing that ticket with money stolen from the grocery store where she worked as a bookkeeper. Sounds like she really needed to win the lottery, because that is some gosh-awful bookkeeping. Visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com for more weird news, the free mobile app, and our YouTube channel. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>